And we are here in the kitchen with Chef Jeff Brown Hi. from Cotton Southern Bistro. Hey, how are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Fantastic. So what are you making today? And by the way, it always already smells good. All kinds of cool stuff today. We've got some of our uh, crispy pork belly, which is mm -hmm. like our, our bacon steak that we've got from our Surrey hogs that we got going on. We're also going to do an apple cobbler crisp today. Just comfort food all the way around. Mm -hmm. It's going to be delicious, and the place is going to be smelling great. It already smells wonderful. Good apple theme today. Absolutely. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Jeff. We're just getting started on the Hampton Road Show today. We're going to be right back as we start all this stuff up. And we are back in the kitchen with Chef Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro, who is making a couple of tasty apple-themed dishes. We have crispy pork belly Absolutely. with butter rum apples mm -hmm. and apple, apple cobbler crisp. Easy for me to say. Yep. For Absolutely. Let's jump. Let's jump right yeah, into this let's and let's talk it. about what we're doing. Okay. Pork belly is exactly what it's described as being. It's the belly of the pork, which is where ah, bacon comes from, which sense. is manna from heaven. It really is. If you can get a look at this right here, you can see, I mean, this is just a nice lean piece of meat. Some of it's very fatty. What you're going to do is you're going to score the top of this, okay? Mm -hmm. And all you do is just come across the diagonal pieces. And what this does is it helps render out the fat from this thing. And you're going to sear it in a hot pan for about four minutes or so. And what we've already, we've already got one done right here. So you keep the fat on because you some folks absolutely. want to chop no, all the fat away. No, you don't, you don't want to do that. Who wants to chop the fat no, away No, you want that because what it does is just adds nothing but flavor because of how we're going to cook yeah. it, the braising. Mm -hmm. So we've already got this piece already done right here. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to get ready for our, our long cook time. And you can do this days ahead of time. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to braise this piece of meat in a braising solution. we got some onions, mm -hmm. we got some celery. And we got some carrots, which is a mirepoix, which is the basics of everything. Of course. Wonderful. And they're very, they're, you chop them really thick. Real rough. Yeah, absolutely, because that, it holds in the flavor. Mm -hmm. We're just going to take this beautiful, beautiful pork belly that we've got done. We're going to put it in this, pot, in this pan here. And you, this is very easy. You can also use a Dutch oven or a roasting pan or whatever you want at home. You don't have to be fancy with it whatsoever. But to make sure that things braise correctly, lots of liquid. Okay. And what is this that you're pouring This over? is just a little bit of chicken stock. That's all. You can even use water. You can use red wine if you'd like. Mm -hmm. It's fine. We're going to throw it into the oven, low and slow, for four hours at about 275. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you brown it on here first, put it in with those, and then you then put it on there. This is your cooking process. Okay. All you're doing right here is you're running some fat out and you're giving it some, some beautiful color. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go to our little magic oven, which we love. We do love the magic and oven. I pull, wish I had one. And we're home. going to pull out a beautiful piece. We're going to start working on our apples right now of our topic for this. This is just a real basic, basic topping for this. Mm -hmm. You just got some, some regular old, just peeled apples. Does it matter if it's red or green apples? Red, greens. Prefer? I like Granny Smith's. These okay. right here are uh, red delicious. A little bit of brown sugar to these, okay? We're going to salt these down, just let them come together. It's going to make its own sauce with the juice from that apple. We're gonna, and we've got a little bit of butter in there. But here's the secret to the great sauce, is just a little bit of gravy. Gravy, gravy. Go, gravy goes all the way around. All the way around the world. <laughs> and it also ends up on thighs. And <laughs> everything in moderation is my in everything in moderation is my hero <laughs> says. A little bit of rum, okay? A little Captain Morgan's. All right. Adds a little kick to it, the actually adds a rum. little bit of flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And it, it should be spiced. Absolutely. Correct? Absolutely. I mean you can use a 151, but the spice rum's a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And as as you can see in smell of vision, <laughs> this smells <laughs> wonderful. And our plating for this is just as easy as it could possibly be. We've got a little bit of grilled polenta right here. Grilled polenta. A little bit of grilled polenta, which is nothing but cornmeal. Mm -hmm. It's a cornmeal grit. We're going to take our beautiful pork belly that we got. It looks absolutely amazing. And we're going to take some of these apples on there and just spin it over. Serve it right here with it. Perfect. And then we're going to give a little bit of drizzle on top. And you're done. Mm -hmm. Like I always say, it's not hard. If it was, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> and in real world time, then, how long would this take? The magic of television made this. You want to do minutes, four hours for your braising. Mm -hmm. It's cooked. You can chill it the next day yeah. and then just bring it back up in the oven for five minutes. It's something you could do the next day and just get ready to go. That's good to know. So you can kind of plan ahead Absolutely. for your dinner if yeah. you want to try to Absolutely. knock something out for the rest yeah. of the week. Work, work smarter, not harder. We love that theme. So what exactly are we going to be touching on when we get back then? We're going to be working on our apple cobbler crisp. And then we're going to be talking about some stuff that we're doing this week with Homer Rum. Looking Come forward see to us. It. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you. For this, we'll see you in just a few minutes for the Apple Crisp. We 
are back in the kitchen with Chef Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro making apple cobbler crisp this morning. Yes, this, is, this is our newest hit that we've got at the restaurant. Um, we're always doing new things around there. We're working mm -hmm. with what we've got. We've uh, Some of our farmers have come into some apples, so we've really just yeah. uh, we tried to incorporate it into our menus. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I've done over the years. This is just one of our favorite things. It's very, very easy. This is something easy to do with the kids at home, so you get everybody involved in the cooking. Mm -hmm. And you're in the kitchen, you're in the heart of the house. So. Let's go ahead and dig in. Um, you've basically got four cups of apples for this thing, and you're just going to, this will make six of these things. You get these little dishes, or you could do a whole pie dish is fine. Okay. Um, you could do a big batch, or you could do each individual little servings. And these are the same, you said the Granny Smith apples? Yeah, these are Granny Smiths. Actually, these are red delicious. Oh, these are red yeah, delicious. These are, these are, but okay. you can use any, any apple that you want. Fuji's are good. Mm -hmm. um, some are a little bit more mealy, and some are not as sweet, okay. but these are fine. And basically, all you do is you're going to take your apples and line them in the bottom of your dish, and then we're going to make our. our, our crisp topping for this. So you're going to use about half of those oats. So you've got about, about a couple of oats. He said to me, are you going to remember to just use half? He said, maybe go. a reminder on live TV. <laughs> Who knows? All right. And then your flour. And I can use all of the flour. Yeah, all, just let, it, let it rip. About how much flour is that? Then? That's about, about a half a cup. Okay. you got about a cup of brown sugar. A cup of brown sugar. Okay. A little bit of cinnamon. And this is just, would you say a pinch of cinnamon? or it's how about much a teaspoon. Cinnamon? Teaspoon. Teaspoon okay. of cinnamon, teaspoon of salt. All righty. All right. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pour butter in here because it's a hot pan. Yeah, you we're go just, ahead and do that. We're just going to pour a little <laughs> bit of butter in here. This butter is awesome. Is that, <laughs> there is nothing wrong with butter. Is that about a stick of butter or half a stick? Exactly, yeah. About a stick, stick of butter, which is going to come down to about four tablespoons. So just mix that up. Okay. That's our topping. Okay. And as you already smell, once yes. that butter hits it, that's when magic happens. God, it really does. A little bit of butter. And this is just a nice, you know, sweet, mm. comfort yeah. food to me, just topping. So, to everyone. And, and it's very, so very good. easy. So we got this mixed down. Okay. Let's go ahead and let me scoot, scoot you in here a little bit. I'll just have you go ahead and spit it on top. That's the nicest way someone ever said, hey, Katie, move. Yeah. Scooch. <laughs> a little scooch. scooch. over. <laughs> yeah, you just pop that right on top of it. And Don't is be, all of this going to go on top? Well, I mean, you know, not all of it, you know. Just it depends, I, on, how much, it. depends on how much crisp you like. Ariane's shouting all out tips it. to me right now. All She's like, here, Katie, put it on. <laughs> there you go. So you got that good. good. Yep, that's it. And that's right. all there is to it. So you're going to take this and pop this into about 350 oven mm -hmm. for 30 minutes. Okay? Okay. And that's it. Now, of course, you know me. Yes, we my do. Magical, <laughs> my magical TV oven. That's so got one great. Done. Oh, wow. And this thing really, 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 really smells wonderful. Yes, it does. And you're just going to top this off with some whipped cream, which... Thank you, chefs, for leaving your stuff around the kitchen here. <laughs> and you don't have to get fancy with it, but I like to get a little fancy with it every once in a while. Well, you're a chef. you got to get you fancy. You can put a little right? bit of whipped cream on top of it, and do not, and I repeat, do not be afraid to put a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top of that because it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. That sounds great. We'll yeah. be a little energy efficient. There you go. Close that door. Absolutely. And we'll be talking about all this stuff this week at Home and We'll be out yeah. there twice this week. We'll be there today doing mm -hmm. the Taste of Chesapeake in one of the houses, and then we've got a sponsored house with uh, Patrick. Um, mm -hmm. And we'll be doing uh, shrimp and grits this week and Nola pastas and all kinds of stuff at Hummerama. Are you going to be Wednesday. seeing this as well? All okay. kinds of stuff. Yeah, we're going to be doing cooking demos. You can come out and you can learn stuff. You can get recipes. You can get coupons. You can shake hands with me. I'll bring Nubs the Danger Kitty. We'll, we'll bring it off. <laughs> well, it sounds like a plan. And you can see everything about Cotton Southern Bistro right there on your screen. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, 648 Grassfield Parkway in Chesapeake. Right. Chef Jeff, thank you so much. Thank you. And we can't wait to dig into this, which we will do in just a little bit. All right, come get it.